In this video, I'm going to show you how I create horror styles on YouTube with AI. As you can see here, I've generated a bunch of really cool styles, and I'm excited to share them so you can get inspiration for your own channel. There are lots of horror YouTube channels that are actually successful in this niche, as you can see right here. Most of them, especially the big channels, use animation tools and lots of editing. But the cool thing is, you can simplify those steps and create full videos using just AI tools. In the horror niche, AI works perfectly because it's actually well-trained for this type of content. You can produce both long-form and short-form videos for platforms like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram. It's a strong niche. Motivated creators, including beginners and faceless channels, can thrive if they enjoy the work. First things first, let's open ChatGPT so I can guide you through how to create images. There are three techniques I usually use. The first one I'm going to show you is this prompt. This is a master prompt for generating image variations in any horror niche style. In this prompt, we use something like, create 100 imaginative prompts for generating images, each rendered in a distinct visual art style for a horror channel, focusing on folk horror. Then, in each prompt, I define more details based on my needs, like different image art styles, making each prompt three to four sentences long and providing a highly detailed and atmospheric description of the scene, lighting, tone, and setting. You can add even more details if you want. At the end, I add a practical output format so I can use these in various use cases and generate lots of images in bulk. Or, I can handle each prompt with my own tool if I want. Next, for the GPT model, since we have 100 prompts, each three to four sentences long, this will take a lot of tokens, so I use GPT thinking. Otherwise, the result quality will be too low. Let's submit this prompt to the GPT-4 Turbo model. And as you can see, we're now getting image prompts in JSON format. Just let it generate all the prompts over a few minutes. And now, let's review the prompts together. In the prompt, you're going to see in the first object, we have a key named ID, and then the style. For example, medieval woodcut engraving. For other styles, I can see here, Baroque oil chiaroscuro, or Turner-esque romantic watercolor in prompt number five. So now, I'm going to test some prompts for you by just copying and pasting them back into the prompt box at the bottom. And let's see how it goes. When generating images in GPT chat box, the image model will be GPT image one, and it produces very consistent results. There's actually a problem here. I'm sorry. I forgot that I generated all 120 images using this account last night. So we've hit the limit, and those 120 images were generated to test image styles. I created them effortlessly using Gary Studio, which I'll show you how to do in a later part of the video. So now I'm going to use another account. And these are the images I generated. You can have a look. As you can see, the result from GPT Image 1 is mostly stable. However, in some cases, especially for faces in the far distance, it needs more resolution, and GPT Image 1 will produce blurry or distorted images. The only model I've seen that's better at this is Google Banana, but even Google Banana can't maintain consistent results. It handles faces better, but you'll notice the output isn't always stable. For me right now, the best models for image generation and practical content creation on YouTube are GPT Image 1 and Google Banana. You can try both and see which works best for you. To generate images via ChatGPT, you can use the GoPlan account, which gives you at least 50 images per day. The cost is very affordable, but you can't use the thinking model. I use the Plus account, and this is the best option I can recommend for faceless YouTubers or content creators. When you have the GoPlan or Plus plan, you can just copy and paste your prompts into Gary Studio like this. Click Generate, you can let it run in background and go to sleep if you want. And within 12 hours, Gary Studio will generate all 120 images for you automatically, without you having to click and generate each image one by one in the UI. That's a lot of images. This month, I'll also release Gary Studio 2.0, which will include After Effects rendering. You'll be able to order images by drag and drop, delete images, and generate image to video or use text to video via AI generation tools like Kling AI or Google VO3. You'll be able to export videos like this effortlessly. This is true YouTube automation, focused on making content generation much easier for any YouTuber or faceless creator who wants to build channels, despite having limited skills or time, but still with high quality output. As you can see, the output is very dynamic, with overlays, keyframes, and transitions added automatically. When you add your logo, captions, and great voiceover, the output will be very high quality. I even support creating channel icons, designing banners and avatars for each channel, and optimizing your keywords, metadata, titles, and descriptions 
for every member who's been in the community for more than three months, something you'll never see anywhere else. That's why I charge both a one-time access fee and a monthly subscription, but I know it's really worth it for you to try, join, and create a successful YouTube channel. Next, I'm going to show you how I create this master prompt, the prompt I use to generate lots of image variations. First things first, in ChatGPT, I'm going to type this prompt. Help me suggest 20 main topics for the horror niche. Then, ChatGPT will suggest 20 sub-niches within the horror niche with sample details, so you can read through and see if they match what you want. I actually didn't know horror had these types of content, so this is really helpful for getting new ideas. But if you stop here, you won't have anything useful, because the key to making any content on social media is visuals. You have to generate images, many styles and variations like this. This is the most important thing you need to do to make any viral video with AI. For each sub-niche, you have to craft a master prompt and generate all the images like I showed you. Then, for each image, you can generate more variations, and you'll have a stable style to make your videos. So this is the first method you can use. Next, what I usually do is go to Midjourney or any image or video generation tool. For example, if I want to make horror niche content, I'll find a style I like. For example, I can use this style or this style, then I'll screenshot it and save the image to my local PC. Or I can analyze my competitor channels. I'll screenshot any image style I like from my competitors. For example, when I go to Wansi Entertainment's channel, I scroll down to check their thumbnails. Because, for me, the thumbnail is the best visual representation of each video. When you see a thumbnail you like, you can screenshot it directly from the video. But to get higher quality, I'll copy the link. Then, I'm going to download this thumbnail by going to youtubethumbnailgrabber.com. I'll paste my link here and just click this button to download the thumbnail in high quality resolution. After that, I go back to ChatGPT in a new thread. I'm going to upload my image here and prompt like this. Please give me the image prompt. By doing this, ChatGPT will recreate the image prompt for my provided image. Then, I just copy this prompt. But for now, don't use the same thread. Because when you do this, the generating behavior will be editing, not creating a new image. So we have to create a new thread. Type create wide image, then paste my prompt and press enter, and see how the image is generated right now. As you can see, it's really, really impressive, right? Here you can also see that with these steps, your results can be slightly different from the ones you see on the screen. Each style will match differently for each of you, and that's how AI works. Don't aim for perfection when doing things with AI. You have to try generating more until you see things matching your vision. For example, from this image, I want to create lots of variations, so I'll have more content inspiration. I can do it right here in the same thread, but for now, I will use Gary Studio because it can help automate generating things without my manual effort. I upload my image here. This can help me generate consistent characters. For image prompt for now, I will use this prompt to test. If I have my prepared script for my horror video, I just need to type image prompts in script prompt input, and then I can paste my full script. Or I can just paste my full script prompt right here, so Gary Studio can generate everything for me, from script to image generation. So you can see there are tons of things you can do in Gary Studio. Let's go back with this prompt and click generate. Then I'll show you what Gary Studio can do for you. I just had lunch. So now, let's review everything together. First, as you can see, this thread is 100% automated. I did nothing. Gary Studio helped me upload the image, then created prompts based on my initial prompts. After ChatGPT gave me back all the prompts in JSON format, Gary Studio continued to generate all the images one by one, without me even touching anything. This is the greatest thing Gary Studio can do for you. Create images for free with very consistent results. And you know what? You can't use any better image model right now to see the same quality. All of these are high quality images. And you know what else? I only need to use the ChatGPT Go plan on this account. And each day I can generate 70 to 100 images per day with a very cheap plan. The cost you'd have to pay for the API to get similar results is very, very high. You'd have to pay $6.30 per 100 images. So I can't recommend the API for anyone. Even though my tool supports this feature, and even when you use an API key for scripting, it's also expensive. But when you do it with my system, it's totally free and effortless. Now let's look at my final demo. This is fully YouTube automation because it's rendered via my After Effects template. And you can export this video directly from Gary Studio. My templates are all customizable based on each member's channel and style. I'll help you generate these videos effortlessly. As you can see, the overlays, transitions, and images all have auto keyframes via After Effects. I'll also help you create channel icons, design banners, and avatars for each channel, and optimize your keywords, metadata, 
titles, and descriptions for every member. Templates, styles, and more than six hours of courses are all available. There are lots of things and benefits you can access if you join right now. I hope to see you inside. And if you like this video, please subscribe. See you in the next video.